Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I set up Janessa's shot. So behind me I have the props backdrops. I have them set on rollers. They are the Manfrotto aluminum rollers because they are vinyl, they're a little heavier. So up here I've got six up here, one on the wall. For hers, I used white chalk. Now, the reason why I use white chalk with her is because she's a hairstylist and makeup artist. She was celebrating her 26th birthday as well as her one year anniversary of being a cosmetologist. So she wanted to do a body paint, just artistic fun splatter body paint project. And I invited her to come over whenever she got inspired and let shoot. So I like to just do a lot of impromptu shoots with some of my artists that I have as friends. So she set up and was getting painted and I saw lots of lots and lots of color. I'm more of a desaturated, gritty person. So when I saw that, I thought, well, let me do this white chalk background, which is a nice gray scale toned background to neutralize the background so that she would pop. So put that down. And even though these backdrops are vinyl and they do roll out as a floor, she was using paints. I don't want to test paints on the backdrops. <laughs> I've tested coffee grounds and let it sit there for hours and it came right up, but I don't want to test paint and I don't want to clean it. So um, I did, she did bring a backdrop or a, like a paint splatter piece of plastic and we put that down. I used speed lights with gels to get some more color pop on her. So I did over on this side of her, I used my Strobe Pro light stand and then used two speed lights, two Strobe Pro speed lights over here. Now to mount that, if you've never mounted it before, so to mount those and get those at the right angle, you're going to need this arm. The arm goes on to the top of your light stand. Screw that down. The arm can also angle and move and so it can go wherever you want. So if I untwist this, now it can go where you want. So, okay, what do you do with that? You have another bracket. <laughs> this bracket has the speed light mount, the shoot, the hot shoot. Put this on, and apparently it took the little twisty guy off, so it's probably in my locker. Um, twist that on, lock it in. These just go on. Now you can angle it wherever you need to. Boom. I put these on a 200 zoom. So these are awesome. They do have a zoom on it. I wanted to angle the light right at her. I didn't want a wide spread. I didn't want it splashing in the background. So on her back, I have a of blue on the back side. So I had two guys up here pointing down. And I had two guys on the floor right here. I don't get fancy and use stands unless I have to. Right here behind my husband, I've got crates. I know some of you were asking about these crates during the last article I shot. Just be crafty and call around, get on Craigslist. These are from Mexico. They actually brought cactus milk or juice over in these. They're very, very, very old. And I found out, cool story, they're actually used in the Latin Music Awards here in Las Vegas. So. There are light stands, there are props, there are everything for me. They will give you splinters, so watch out. So I just put the little foot on here that it comes with, and I put two more going this way, like this, going off this way at her. So she was here in the center. I've got lights coming up this way, so that's why you see the lights hitting her here. The lights coming this way. Her arms up overhead. She's got the curling iron here, and she's lit up from the sides. Now, in the front to light her face, I used didn't use this modifier, but go right where you're at. So you always want to angle your lights down like it's natural sunlight. I did use their 20 by. the original strobe pro rapid rapid something anyways it it goes up really fast it's a 24 by 36 so it's like a standard poster size i had that up here let me open it up and show you 
So I use a rag or a sleeve because you will slice your finger open like I did the other day. These are cool because they just pop down, pop open or pop down like an umbrella. And the ring goes right on your strobe. That I use a double diffusion. If I want a softer light, a single for a little bit harder light. So with her, I use the double for a little bit softer light. Put that up here, 45 degree angle, no grids. As far as the settings for the lights, you have to play with your lights, see how they work, how powerful they are, what your ambient light is. So it, that's a mathematical equation that I, I don't do any math, I don't do any of that. I literally just kind of look and see what I have. I know my studio space, I know what's here and I've shot so I can pretty much guesstimate where it's going to be. I do have a light meter, but when I'm in the middle of a shoot, I don't have time to fuss with it. I need to know my numbers, I need to know about where it's gonna be so I can take two test shots and be on my way. With that, the red and the blue that I had, these were powerful enough that it didn't drown out, or the strobe didn't drown out my speed lights and my colored gels. So that can happen. These are the gels. This is from Strobe Pro. It comes with tons and tons of these guys. I also went on Amazon and I got four packets of these. They go on the top of the speed light. So they go on top of the speed light like this. So these are from Amazon, these are not Strobe Pro. And these go, you just attach it inside of there and inside of there. And that holds the gel like that. These Strobe Pro ones go on as a Velcro. They just sit on there like so. You can flip it on. I like that they go in the tracks. You don't technically need this, you just need the colors and gaffer tape works great on everything. Of course, it does start to bend your gels, but in a pinch, you can use it. So, all right guys, that's it. So take a look, this is Janessa. with the rapid setup if you're a first-time buyer and don't know I just happen to get lucky and get these instead of the ones where you have to put the rods through yourself <sighs> I didn't even know really that existed when I bought these and I got one of those like last year I know you're like you've been shooting and you don't know that no I did not know that Got one in the mail and I was so irritated. <laughs> it's just sitting on a shelf. I hate it. Make sure it's a rapid one and they pop up like an umbrella. Or you're gonna chuck it in the trash in two seconds. You're gonna be so ticked off. So that's what all these are. This is a nice slim one. And this is great for long body lengths. You're gonna light up the entire body from the feet to the head and you're not gonna have light spreading everywhere. Um, my other favorite one, as long as we're here and talking, is over here. Okay, this is the parabolic modifier. I have this down right now because I was opening some equipment, but this parabolic is awesome. It just gives it such a beautiful light on her face. I believe this is a 42, uh, 48, 48 inch. So the deep parabolic is deep because I want to focus the light on her. 
Uh, I do have the really big wide like six and seven foot ones. Those are great for two inch. Or inch. No, six or seven foot. Oh, sound like said six no. or seven foot. Six or seven foot uh, modifier, like the big umbrellas. Those are great for groups because you can light everyone evenly. This is great for a single person shot, which is primarily what I shoot here is one single person in the shot and it's more of a beauty light versus a hard fitness or masculine light. Um, so this just angles that down beautifully. If you think of taking a bucket and you were to throw the water on someone, you, you would know about where it would go. If you take a big bowl that's wide open and chuck that at somebody, it's gonna go everywhere. So think of that as your light when you're shooting light. Where's it gonna go? Think of water spraying. Okay, for actually triggering your lights, I got lucky on this too. I happen to pick Show Pro on Black Friday, didn't know anything about lights. They've got the radio trigger whole system set up. So every single one of my speed lights, every single one of my strobes is all connected. And all I do is set my settings here. I don't have to run around, shoot, done. I just got the new one in the mail, which is a little more techy. I get to play with it yet. So everyone's always blown away at that. And I, again, I didn't know <laughs> that was, you had to mess with a bunch of other little crap and wires with other triggers. So this is freaking awesome. I say that a lot. That's amazing. Uh, going back to the props too, I was going to say, if you're looking for props, because I know that's a hard thing to find something random and unique like this, just put it out there, put it on Facebook that, hey guys, I'm trying to build my prop collection. If you are out shopping, let me know. If you're at a garage sale, let me know. Do some digging. A lot of this just comes to me and I, or I happen to see it. And one of my biggest gold mines was a 15 year old from the high school right next door. She is in the arts, she sings opera, she's a little crafty little guru like I was. And we come here and we play. And when she's out and about, she's like, Cat, look what I found. And she got me this, like, I don't know, 100 year old vintage trunk. She found me real suitcases lined with satin. She's found so much. She built the angel wings, which you'll see soon. Um, she's just phenomenal. So find yourself a cool little artistic nerd like I used to be <laughs> that just wants to come in and play. And She's a great model, so yeah, buy one of those for the ones. Alright guys, later.